So, I've been in the system for a really long time. I first went to my GP when I was about 17 and he referred me to CAMS. After a brief assessment at CAMS, they referred me to the Tavistock. It took a long time, from the moment I went to my GP to the moment I had my first appointment with the Tavistock, but things were a little bit different back then. You had to go and get a mental health assessment before they could refer you on to gender services. I had two appointments with the Tavistock, and my third was due over my 18th birthday, and because I rescheduled, they dropped me out of the system. When I emailed them, saying I had to cancel because I couldn't get there, I asked for them to refer me on to the adult services, but they never did. So. A year down the line, and I was right back at the beginning. I had to go back to my doctor and get a re-referral to the adult services in Exeter. Once I was at the Laurels, I finally had all three appointments and completed my assessment. Alex had his first appointment at the Laurels about two weeks before I was due to have mine, but they had to reschedule because we were supposed to have the same psychotherapist and they weren't really happy with that. So I rescheduled, I had all three appointments successfully, I completed my assessment, and I was done. After that, I waited the longest five to six months of my life. Because I didn't book any more psychotherapy appointments, I didn't really have the chance to check up with my progress and see where I was on the doctor's waiting list. I spent a long time in the dark, not knowing anything. After a mix-up with my address and accidentally missing an appointment I didn't know I had, I eventually changed psychotherapists because my previous one is away for some reason. After my first appointment with my new psychotherapist, I finally, finally got my doctor's letter. It's taken me a really long time to get where I am, and it's been weird, and it's just been full of hold-ups and rescheduling, and it's felt neglectful, in a way. But I'm here now. In, in a week's time I have my blood test, and in another two weeks' time I will have my doctor's appointment. Hopefully, hopefully, not long after that, I will start tea. Being with Alex and watching his progress and his transition has been just incredible and it's made me so happy because he deserves to have made the progress he has made but to an extent it's been hard to watch because i've seen the gap between our appointments and between our progress get bigger and bigger and bigger it started off at two weeks and then it became a month and by the time we were both put on the doctor's waiting list it was back to two weeks again but the space between both of us getting our doctor's appointment was three months. Two weeks translated into three months and it became slightly unbearable. Now I have no idea how the gender clinics work and how they figure out who gets their doctor's appointments first, but I'm telling you it is not chronological. You don't filter down the list at the same speed as everyone else. And that's... I can say that with I can say that almost with certainty. It sucks, and it's hard to watch people progress, the people that you're close with, people that you've started with at the same time and know that you are so much further behind, but when you get there, when you get to your doctor's appointment, everything just speeds by. I know that three weeks ago watching Alex, it didn't, it didn't feel like in three weeks' time he was going to be on tea, it felt like the wait was going to be so much longer, and then it just kind of happened, and now I know that for me, soon enough it's just going to happen. I've been through my waiting, I've been through damn near three years of it, and it's going to happen any day now, and I'm happy. For the first time I have hope and faith in this system, in this system that has fucked me over so many times, and has made me it's pushed me to the edge, really. I've been on the fucking edge, <laughs> but now I'm almost there. I just one little push and I will be there. For anyone who has been waiting a long time and feels like it's hopeless, it's not, you will get there. And it feels like you're gonna have to wait another two years, but it'll happen so quickly. Something will give and you'll be there. So hang on to that last little bit of hope and hang on to that last bit of strength because you will 
do this, you can do this, you're gonna make it, and you're gonna be fine. It hurts, and it's hard, and it's so long and tiring, but when you get to this point, you don't care anymore. You don't care because you know it's it's gonna happen before before the summer, before Pride, before my brother's wedding, you know? All of these things I've had planned for so long, all of these things have been my goals, I've just gotta make it to this event, I've just gotta push through to that event, but I don't I don't have to do that. I don't have to go to I don't have to go to summer in the city without being on tea. I'm not gonna make it to a pride without being on tea. And I know that. That's pretty much a fact now, and it's incredible. So make your plans and set your goals because your transition is gonna fit in with that. It's gonna fall where it falls and you need something to pass the time and you need something to aim towards. And before you know it, everything will just fall into its place. Hopefully this video wasn't too long and rambly and self-centered, but I feel like I haven't talked a lot about my transition on my channel because it's quite a... It's quite a painful topic for me to talk about, and it's been very painful whilst I've been in that waiting period, but now I'm not waiting anymore. I'm doing, and I'm living, and it's great. We've got this, okay? We're surviving, and we're living, and we will see each other next Tuesday. Peace out, bitches.